Welcome, students, to today's lecture on the complex and fascinating field of endocrinology. In this lecture, we will delve into the intricate world of calcium homeostasis and disorders of calcium metabolism. Throughout this script, we will explore the pathophysiology, molecular basis, and various disorders affecting calcium metabolism. So without further ado, let us embark on this educational journey. Hypercalcemia refers to elevated calcium levels in the blood, which can be caused by various factors. The pathophysiology of hypercalcemia involves an imbalance between calcium influx and efflux from bone tissue. This imbalance can occur due to conditions such as primary hyperparathyroidism, malignancies, or excessive vitamin D intake. In primary hyperparathyroidism, excessive parathyroid hormone, PTH, secretion leads to increased bone resorption and subsequent release of calcium into the bloodstream. Malignancies can cause hypercalcemia through perineoplastic production of PTH-related protein, PTHRP, which mimics the actions of PTH. Excessive vitamin D intake can result in increased intestinal absorption of calcium, leading to hypercalcemia. Hypocalcemia, on the other hand, refers to low levels of calcium in the blood. Several molecular mechanisms contribute to hypocalcemia, including impaired PTH secretion, impaired calcium sensing, and disturbances in vitamin D metabolism. For example, hypoparathyroidism can lead to decreased PTH production, impairing the normal feedback loop controlling calcium levels. Additionally, genetic mutations affecting calcium sensing receptors can result in reduced responsiveness to changes in calcium levels. Disorders of vitamin D metabolism, such as vitamin D-dependent rickets type 1, can lead to impaired intestinal absorption of calcium, contributing to hypocalcemia. Secondary hyperparathyroidism occurs as a compensatory mechanism in response to chronic hypocalcemia or vitamin D deficiency. In this condition, the parathyroid glands produce excessive amounts of PTH in an attempt to restore normal calcium levels. Secondary hyperparathyroidism is commonly observed in patients with chronic kidney disease, as impaired renal function leads to reduced activation of vitamin D and disrupted calcium homeostasis. This condition can cause hyperplasia of the parathyroid glands and subsequent bone resorption. Disorders of vitamin D metabolism encompass a range of conditions that interfere with the synthesis, activation, or responsiveness to vitamin D. These disorders can manifest as either hypercalcemia or hypocalcemia. For instance, in vitamin D-dependent rickets type 2, there is a defect in the enzyme responsible for converting 25-hydroxyvitamin D to its active form, calcitriol. This leads to impaired intestinal calcium absorption and subsequent hypocalcemia. In contrast, vitamin D toxicity due to excessive intake can result in increased calcium absorption and hypercalcemia. A vast array of genetic disorders can impact calcium homeostasis. One notable example is familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia, FHH, an autosomal dominant disorder characterized by defective calcium sensing receptors in the parathyroid glands and kidneys. This defect impairs calcium excretion by the kidneys, leading to hypercalcemia. Another important genetic disorder is pseudohypoparathyroidism, characterized by target organ resistance to PTH despite normal or elevated hormone levels. This resistance results in hypocalcemia along with elevated PTH levels. Calcium and phosphate play crucial roles in maintaining bone health. The interplay between these two ions is vital for the formation and maintenance of a healthy skeletal system. Imbalances in calcium and phosphate levels can lead to conditions such as osteoporosis or osteomalacia. Osteoporosis is characterized by decreased bone density due to increased bone resorption and decreased bone formation, resulting in a higher risk of fractures. Osteomalacia, on the other hand, refers to softening of the bones due to inadequate mineralization, often caused by vitamin D deficiency. Parathyroid carcinoma is a rare malignancy derived from abnormal parathyroid cells. This aggressive tumor can cause hyperparathyroidism, leading to hypercalcemia. Parathyroid carcinoma is often associated with severe symptoms and has a poor prognosis. Surgical removal of the tumor and adjunctive treatments such as chemotherapy may be employed to manage this condition. As mentioned earlier, familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia, FHH, is characterized by defective calcium sensing receptors. Patients with FHH typically have lifelong hypercalcemia, often without symptoms or significant complications. Differentiating FHH from primary hyperparathyroidism is crucial, as the treatment approaches and prognosis differ considerably. Fibroblast growth factor 23, FGF23, plays a pivotal role in regulating phosphate balance. Disorders involving FGF23 can lead to abnormalities in phosphate homeostasis, such as hypophosphatemic rickets or hyperphosphatemic familial tumoral calcinosis. 
Hypophosphatemic rickets is characterized by inadequate phosphate reabsorption in the kidneys, resulting in low levels of phosphate and impaired bone mineralization. Hyperphosphatemic familial tumoral calcinosis, on the other hand, is characterized by increased phosphate and calcium deposition in soft tissues, leading to the formation of calcific masses. Calcium signaling plays a crucial role in regulating various cellular processes, including muscle contraction, neurotransmitter release, and hormone secretion. Intracellular calcium levels are tightly regulated through the coordinated action of calcium channels, transporters, and pumps. Dysregulation of calcium signaling can lead to various disorders, such as cardiac arrhythmias, neurodegenerative diseases, and endocrine disorders. Patients with chronic kidney disease often experience disturbances in calcium metabolism due to impaired renal function. These disruptions can result in secondary hyperparathyroidism, vascular calcification, and renal osteodystrophy. Secondary hyperparathyroidism arises from the inability of the kidneys to activate vitamin D and excrete phosphate, leading to increased PTH secretion. Vascular calcification involves the deposition of calcium in blood vessels, which can contribute to cardiovascular complications. Renal osteodystrophy refers to a spectrum of bone abnormalities that can arise from chronic kidney disease. Disorders of calcium transport encompass a diverse range of conditions that affect the movement of calcium across cell membranes. One example is hypocalciuric hypercalcemia, which results from mutations in calcium-sensing receptors or renal calcium transporters. These mutations disrupt the normal mechanisms of calcium reabsorption and excretion, leading to altered calcium levels in the blood and urine. Another condition is transient neonatal hyperparathyroidism, characterized by temporary hypercalcemia in newborns due to prenatal exposure to high levels of maternal calcium. In conclusion, the complex field of calcium metabolism spans a wide range of disorders and processes. From the pathophysiology of hypercalcemia to the intricate signaling pathways involved in calcium regulation, a thorough understanding of these topics is crucial for healthcare professionals. By equipping ourselves with knowledge and staying updated, we can contribute to the diagnosis, management, and treatment of patients with disorders of calcium metabolism. Keep exploring the fascinating world of endocrinology, as this is just the beginning of your journey as future medical professionals.